Liz Truss has revealed how she had to call Boris Johnson in hospital to get round officials blocking a post-Brexit trade deal with the US and UK. The failure to take the opportunity to land a massive US trade deal when it was on offer from Donald Trump has contributed to making Brexit one of the biggest missed opportunities, Liz Truss has told the Daily Express. In her book, Ten Years to Save the West, the former Prime Minister has detailed how a failure to grasp the opportunities of the Brexit vote in 2016 have meant that Britain is still trapped in the woke legacy of Tony Blair's EU-style legal changes, human rights and business regulations. But she has also revealed how the opportunity of a massive trade deal with the US was lost because of resistance led by Dominic Cummings and Michael Gove. Ms. Truss has vented her frustration with both the Theresa May government of 2016 and Boris Johnson government of 2019 for failing to grab the opportunities of Brexit. She describes how she forced her way into a meeting with Boris Johnson and Donald Trump in the US with the then president wanting to talk about a trade deal while Mr. Johnson kept changing the conversation to Iran. She told the Express, by the way, Boris was, not, talking about, Iran as in being tough or on Iran but, supporting the nuclear deal, which has proved to be a mistake. Ms. Truss explained that Brexiteers had split into two camps between free traders and Brexiteers, with Cummings, who was then the Downing Street chief of staff, and Gove in the camp opposing trade deals. Ms. Truss describes how she was only able to get Boris Johnson to authorize getting the talks going when he was recovering in hospital, and she knew he had his mobile phone with him but was away from his officials. However, she said, by then it was too late. She said civil servants and interest groups absolutely hated other deals like the £13 trillion comprehensive and progressive Trans-Pacific Partnership membership she pushed through or the Australia Free Trade Deal. The former Prime Minister has admitted that she now regrets not supporting Brexit in the 2016 EU referendum admitting in the book she did not think the Leave campaign could win. She said, I would, in retrospect, I would support Brexit. At the time I was knee-deep in my job at DEFRA. I just hadn't thought it through. If I knew what I now know, after what I've seen over ten years, the whole kind of edifice, the Blairites stuff, the European Union, I would certainly support Brexit. But it was under Mrs May's premiership she believes the biggest mistakes were made in not being bold enough immediately after the referendum in 2016. She added, I think Brexit was a missed opportunity, that is straight after the 2016 vote. And I say this in the book, we should have been much clearer with what we were going to do with it and made those changes then. The logic of Brexit is that we have to reverse these Blairite changes, because a lot of the Blairite changes would try and fit in with the EU way of thinking, human rights agenda, working time directive, Equalities Act and the rest.